Guys, the safety meeting has been a staple of the Fright Power Hour for a long, long time. Yes, it has. And it's time to bring it to a close with a safety meeting that almost blends with a public domain cartoon. Ooh. Guys, Ooh. please enjoy a look at future cars from the 1950s. Hey. Hell yeah, man. Oh, uh, Fried and Feisty. That's the cartoon. Fried and Feisty, yeah. got it. Okay. Freedom Fest, yeah. Freedom Fest. That sounds like something I would do. Uh, you know. Oh, I like this uh, credits card. It looks yeah. very Warner Brothers. It does. Although I don't recognize any of those names. Same, yeah. Oh, John Sutherland. John Sutherland, That's, uh, okay. Tom and Jerry, right? Yep. Yeah. Some of them. Some of them. Uh, some of them are uh, Fred Quimby. Right. I think, right? Right. Bulk of the series, dude. Future Phil Press, uh, the year 2000, the distant future, the distant year 2000, when when men, the height of men's fashion will be testicle cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> Outlook for I, tax cut goods. Eyes up, eyes up here, ladies. Eyes up here. Uh, Mars sets off new Q bomb. <laughs> oh man, you can you can smell the steaks and the puss. That, that's a crazy magazine. It said dude. Mars wow. develops Q bomb, begins peace plan. She says fried and feisty was my one. horse's name. <laughs> It means peace festival in German. Is it Frieden or Frieden? I would guess Frieden. Frieden's German, fest. right? Yeah. Frieden's fest. Frieden's fest. Whoa! It powdered her and put a hat on her. Yep. Man, I, women should bring back those flat hats like that. <laughs> like Whoopi Goldberg in Star Trek. <laughs> Is this uh, Mr. Spacely before he grew the mustache? Right. He also had an automatic hat. Hell yeah. Now wait a minute. What does this have to do with safety? This says it's a car safety cartoon. Well, he's about Look to uh, get into some trouble, I think. Car yeah. safety cartoon. Maybe just like advancements in the actual vehicle itself. Well, this is definitely true to life. Oh, check that out. Bro. The chair goes to the car. You install your lazy boy in the car. What's up with that? Tear said the link sent him to a blank page. I've never seen okay, we'll I check thought, on that I minute. seriously thought we'll have something. Give me life. Well, now, I mean, it's, it, it's not that we could That's affordable like, for everyone. It's not that we couldn't build a flying car, but like, man, these drunk bitches can't handle the SUVs they got now. You want them dropping out of the sky? No fucking way, man. No, no, that's why you have to develop something that will be good driving for them. Yeah, automated. Right. Yeah. Automated. Jane, his wife. Uh, I think that voice might be George Jetson. Was it? I didn't that. hear him. He was uh, like, dad, mom, sis, and son. Point. Even his boy Elroy has a car? No doubt about it. This bus is a little old-fashioned. Okay, no, that's not that's George Jetson. That's not Jetson. George It's Jetson. a little old-fashioned? Ah, uh, yes. Daughter, Judy. The automated, uh, oh, to, Man. to eat your food pills. Wow, Rosie is going downhill, dude. She's getting old. Yeah, she got into drugs after she left. Uh, she got fired from the well, Jetsons for stealing. That was delicious. He gave it the AOK. She's going too many Astro Pops, and so Space they were out Scoop. Slurped them all up, man. So people have to do nothing. There's no walking cap. Nothing. And they do the old wing stop. Nothing. That's right. You get nothing, Squid. Also, I'm pretty sure there are no horses left at this point. I thought this was a car safety cartoon. Oh, well. Dude, they did predict energy drinks. Right? Buy it. Buy it. And uh, invasive advertising. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Fireworks coming out of the cars during it. Bro. And flat screen TVs. Yep. Well, at least you got that part, I guess. Jetson! You're fired! Fire. 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 Man. Elroy looks bad, dude. Hey, Paul! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! Greg <laughs> says Tex Avery did it better. Fucking A, man. He did uh, most things what better. Your grandfather used to call an automobile. Aha. It's okay, no longer called an automobile. Automobile. Now, Let's folks, see. believe it or not, 
This is actually an automobile. Okay. Actually. When Grandpa it doesn't have axles. Hot rider around the turn of the century, Cranking? This oh, yeah. Was Cranking the was the last automo wheels. automobile they could envision. Grandpa's newfangled horseless carriage. Oh, now wait a minute. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Brakes don't work. Go back. Whoa. Picking him up a Sally. There we go. Yeah. Sally. Sla he saddled up a Sally. See, I mean, what do you think men buy cars for? <laughs> and then she kicked him out. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Uh, Every shit. trip was an adventure in those days. And one thing you could always depend on. Bugs in that big old nose. A flat tire. Oh, the flat yeah, tires. The same, same size as the rest of the skull. Oh, hand pumping it? Oh, I don't know about that. Yikes. Well, that didn't work for him very well. Shock absorbers hadn't been invented yet. In and what year? <laughs> what year are they suggesting there were that shock or like the first car? <laughs> it's like 1919. Grandpa's car didn't have much Grandpa's acceleration car. for passing. Grandpa's car was so he found himself on the wrong side of the road for longer than he should Man, be. who the fuck taught you to draw two-point two perspective? Grandpa's right? gas or oil <laughs> headlamps weren't much competition for a couple of fireflies. Uh -huh. The little speedster had no top, and it was far from oh, comfortable. Oh man, this is no good. His nose is getting wet. There's nothing safe the about the way he's driving right now. <laughs> <laughs> the headlights aren't even on. Even Grandpa's 2020 vision couldn't keep him out of trouble. Damn. Uh -huh. And he's right stuck in the mud. And Thanks for that, government. With his brand new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> he was not happy about that. Even on good roads. No. Individual parts that's failed a good without warning. Ah, ha, 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 Drag links and steering knuckles failed. Oh, shit. Right. I shouldn't have gone down this hill. Now, guys, these are lessons to take advantage of in your own vehicle. Yeah. Don't crash yeah. into a barn full of chickens. Don't go down hills. Right? With every yeah, let's shot move, here, let's move it forward a little bit. Okay. Now we're up to WW1. Stronger and the great war. Were developed with demountable rings. Okay, now we have axles. That's good. That that's an improvement for Doors sure. Were added to keep people safely inside. Like they were Doors. saying that that guy in the year two thousand, that his grandpa was driving a Model T. His grandpa probably would have been driving in like the fifties, right? Because that was yeah. like our grandpa kind of right. era, right? Right, right, right. So he wasn't driving no goddamn Model T. I don't know. Older than us, Jetson looks to be in his forties in the year two thousand. Okay, but you one know. dollar. This you invention enabled grandma to get into the automobile oh, no. This is our. This is where we made a mistake. We took a wrong turn here. See, your citizens driving, that's never worked out. Unsafe! Unsafe! Somebody put a belt on this bitch! Drink! So that more and more people can use and enjoy them. Press steel wheels he used a compass. Stoplight to warn following drivers. By the way, Jamie Lee Curtis is also boobs for one dollar on Stream Lab. Says, revulcanize my tires. Post haste. Rubber covered pedals. Haste. Too sweet. At once. Immediately. All steel buttons and all steel tops meant more strength. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Toughen him up. Now he's got uh, suspension. He's got shock absorbers now. Grandpa could sail along in comfort and safety. This guy's oh, lived gramps. a long time. Through the years, the automobile changed from a novelty to a necessity. It Indeed created they did. a new way of life. It provided a, a whole new of concept of transportation Man. for industry. I feel like humanity at this point would have a hard time moon. adapting to a quote unquote and new way of life. We just did it with computers. Not yeah. 40 years ago, you Besides know. Yeah, yeah, things are already a little... If, if, there, if there was like a, an immediate invention that would change transportation entirely, I think mankind at this point in our lives would have a hard time. Well, that AI, adapting. man. You know, once that nobody drives anymore, yeah, it's all automated public mass program. transportation. Ingenious it's gonna be. It's gonna start getting rough. I think it's gonna get rough, y'all. <laughs> gonna? <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> okay, there's glass and nails. I'm sure, don't pop all the shit. Yeah. Galvanize. Oh, that didn't look like a safe test drink. And like the park oh, assembly, the cars the themselves. Of that. Look at this. Look at how good his shocks are now. He can go right up on the side of a fucking liquid mountain. vehicle now. 
At the end of the rugged test run on the proving ground, they were Get these uh, doctor mechanics the in there. They took it all apart. Okay, we got to see. Uh, look at them real close. Got some springs and bolts and stuff there. Okay. For all the things that we can do and all the, uh, you know, they were showing earlier, uh, a table of executives came up with a bunch of shit to make the car better. Right. They stopped at a certain point. Why didn't they make it to where you could drive it into the water? Well, that's what happened. Why didn't they keep going? Because J.D. Power died and his associates don't care. <laughs> his associates were useless. Bunch of yes men. That's right. J.D. Power was the one with all the ideas. You got it. Like Steve Jobs. They Steve Jobs. Yeah. Kept Grandpa secure inside the all steel body. The adjustable seat. Oh, I like a good adjustable a seat. Oh, yes. That's Especially good. that big couch. The yeah. Made I had a Mercury when I was younger. They had a big couch seat control. like that. So I kind of miss those kind of like front Violent seats. Me too. I wish they'd go back to bench seating. I don't need that much console. You can put that shit in the dash these days. I had that big Silverado with the bench seat. That was great. Fuck nice. yeah. So it says we set that car on fire. Well, I. <sighs> Okay, look, man, I needed a bigger amplifier for those speakers. I didn't know it was going to blow up. Well, okay. They were hand built, clearly. They were in plywood containers. <laughs> the speakers? Yeah. Well, no, I put them in a real thing at that point. Oh, I, at one point, I remember you had little speakers in a little plywood box. Oh, I had to build that one because I was very broke. <laughs> and they were like tiny speakers, so it just kind of yeah. sounded like they was coming out of a headphones. That was in my headphones. first car. That was just everything I could get a hold of, and I just wired all them shits together to try to make it louder. It didn't work very well, but I was young, dumb, and broke. So I was talking about a time where I had really big speakers in the back of that Mercury. And, uh, yep, yep. We went a little far. There are apparently limits. We went at their limits. I mean, I had the better alternator and the better battery and the fucking, like, one and a half fared capacitor and, like, that, bro, but... You know... They have constantly improved the quality and safety of automobiles. And they will continue in the future as they have in the past. Okay. To create cars that well, are we're already behind because according to this. Whoa! Now that was actually kind of awesome. Can we see that again? Fuck yes. I would be down to that. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, guys, not unlike most of the movies we've ever watched on this channel. For all of us uh, I, I talked over most of this to tell you about it. Well, then here's your safety lesson for today. Don't put 15s in a Mercury Grand Marquis. <laughs> they will catch on fire. That's right, man. It's Grandpa. He made it. And there it is, guys. The end. Of the safety meetings here at Gold City. Thank you for enjoying safety meetings with us.